uh, it's a really hard loss. You give up 17 points, then you get the ball there to open and drive. And we had three opportunities on our side of the 50. We come away, uh, get a t two turnover, turn the ball over twice, and then we give up the ball on a uh, four downs. And then you have a lead, you, you have a chance to add to it, and then you allow them to stay in the game, and then they made some plays. And, uh, you know, we just, uh, it's one of those games where you, it's almost like you just, we gave it away. But, you know, you got to give credit to Temple for his continuing the battle. But we had our opportunities, and we didn't take advantage of them. What would you say is the biggest difference in the second half offensively? Well, we just uh, we we never moved a ball, never sustained drives, and uh, didn't score any points. How much did losing Mitchell Wilcox hurt you guys in the first half? Well, it, even uh, you know he he's always uh, it hurts when you lose him because he's so valuable to the offense. But we still have other players out there who can make plays, and we just didn't make any. No, he was healthy. Um, you know, we just didn't uh, didn't make the throws. I mean, they are in coverage where we got to be able to beat press coverage. Didn't beat it, and then uh, you know when they play off, we got to take advantage of them. Well, they were allowed the ball to get back across to the uh, to the uh, wide field and miss some tackles. We had our chance and didn't get them down. Well, we wanted to uh, stop them. I think we held them under 100 yards rushing, and uh, we were able to run the ball. But still, though, uh, when we needed to make plays, they uh, had it, uh, converted a couple of third down plays on us that were, were really key. How tough is it to keep Rackwell Armstead under, under wraps? Well, he's a really good back, and he's done a great job all season of running the ball. No, they uh, and really they brought a lot of five-man pressure. Uh, something that we weren't able, you know, we should be able to handle it because it's only five. But uh, they was able to, uh, you know, slant the front, just you know, bring the outside pressure, which we we got to do a better job of picking up. How'd you feel about the run? Did come back to the run? Bell. Bell. It was good to get him back. Um, we were selling a, a two-high look all game, and Coach BJ switched it up, and we went one high and. Uh, kind of went in the middle of the field, uh, went off the quarterback, and uh, he threw it up and caught it. What changed in the second half compared to the first? Only even scoreless in that first half. Uh, just our attention to detail. Um, I know we missed a lot of tackles in the second half, so I think tackling was a big um, focus that we needed to focus focus on in the second half was tackling. Did you guys expect either on the side kick, um, particularly the second attempt? Um, uh, absolutely. Uh, we knew what type of team they were when it came to teams. Um, we knew they faked the ball a lot. They liked to do a lot of tricky stuff. So. Um, I've actually the the one when he hit uh, the up back uh, that was kind of surprising. We haven't seen that one yet, but that was a new one they pulled out. But we knew what type of team they were on the teams. Is it disheartening? You know, you look at two weeks in a row, you go to the halftime break with the lead. Two weeks in a row, you guys don't go out with victory. Is it kind of disheartening? I mean. I mean, anytime you lose, it's, it's disheartening. But I mean, uh, as a team, we got to stick together, man. We got we got another game next week. We got to move on. We we lost this one, and it hurts. But it's on to the next one. We have a uh, against our rival from the team out east, so we got to move on and get on to the next one. You looking forward to the game against Central Florida as a rival game? Or? Um, they're just next team on the schedule. I mean, they're the team out east, so. Uh, tackling, like I said, um, I think we came out in the second half. We missed some tackles, and uh, Armstead got going, which we knew that he was going to be a, a big back. Uh, he's a, a really good back that they have, and we knew that coming in the game. Uh, right now, to be honest, it's bittersweet. Obviously, uh, we just lost a, another game. Um, but it's a great uh, feeling. Um, it's a big accomplishment for me, something I've never done. Um, a lot of my role models, um, they've done it numerous times, and it's a great feeling with that. But um, like I said, it's bittersweet right now. What do you think happened in the second half? Um, I don't want to say it's reverse roles. That things have been happening in the beginning of the season. Normally, it's we don't come to play in the second half. We do come to play, and this this time around, it was we came to play, and then second half, nothing. Um, it was just a good uh, coaching adjustment by them. Um, we just went one man away on a lot of stuff, um, not executing a lot of the plays. And um, great job by them, though, and Coach Collins and their defense. Great job by them. Was 
Was it nice getting Durand Bell back this week? Love Durant. Um, I was very proud of him. He hasn't played since Georgia Tech, and I was extremely happy for him out there. And it's it's nice having him out there, so it's less of a burden on my body as well. So. And you were able to break off a pretty big run that first quarter, and you kind of ends up again for the first time in a little while. What exactly went down in those plays? Um, we were in tempo offense. Um, I was able to find a crease on the outside, and then I was able to use um, my speed to get close to the end zone. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I have scored. Um, it wasn't enough, um, but it was a great feeling to be able to get back in the end zone. How much do you guys think you missed Mitchell Wilcox in the second half? Um, we did, um, but we have guys who are more than capable of coming in and stepping in and do exactly what Mitch does. But it wasn't about Mitch being out or anything like that. We all, it was a collective effort on the loss. Um, it was just the time of when it happened. Um, obviously, they had the muffs, um, but the pivotal point in the game was when they had the special teams touchdown. Um, but you have to win all three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams, and we definitely did not do that today. What does the sense of player rivalry mean, rivalry, rivalry mean to you? Um, it means a lot to me. Um, this is going to be my first time playing in it. Last year, I, I just watched um, on TV and was, I was at home, but I'm excited for it. Um, you know, God just brought in. It just like the whole year. It wasn't nothing that teams was doing. Just us, you know. God's got control. We did. We uh, we did that pretty good today. How much of a point of emphasis was that for you this week? Uh, you know, um, seniors stepped up today, this week. You know, we, we said enough is enough. You know, so um, that was the point of emphasis. Start the run. That was the point of emphasis. Uh, that was the game plan um, for this for this game. Um, not really. Um, you know, um, they were doing a little bit of uh, different things. You know, like I said, it was stuff that we was doing. It was nothing. It was nothing that they did. We seen everything from film. What do you think was the biggest factor in um, you know, they scored twenty seven points in a row? Obviously, you had the punt returning there. But what do you think was the biggest factor? In there? You know, finishing. You know, um, that's what we had to. Um, we had to finish. Uh, we was up seventeen zero. We just had to finish. You say? Excited about Central Florida? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's senior night, you know. Last game at home, Ray J, you know, so I'm very excited for that. It's a, it's a rivalry game, so, yeah, I'm excited. As a defense, you guys have been struggling these last few weeks. Today was a bit better. It doesn't look like it worked out. As a group, how do you guys figure out you know, what issues that you have to focus on? You know, it, it's, it's not rocket science, you know, it just – God's buying in. God's doing their job. Everybody do their job. Not not doing another person's job. It, it's nothing that we um, that the teams are doing. It's just us. Uh, health wise, not quite. Um, you know, but it's football, part of the game. So, it is what it is. How did you feel before the game? Um, better than the week before. Uh, was you know getting a, a lot better. Um, bang my shoulder up against Tulane um, and, you know, tried to, you know, give back to 100%. So I, I've, I felt good before the game, really good. What do you think happened in the second half? Um, you know, uh, the coaches might, you know, say otherwise and the team might. Uh, but, you know, honestly, personally, I, it's really hard for, uh, for me to not put that all on myself. Um, can't have turnovers like that. Uh, got to play better, um, and you know, got to take it as a lesson. We still have one more game left, uh, so you know we got to do everything we can to prepare for next week. What did you, uh, what did you see that happen on that last play with that interception? Um, you know, he has an option to go or to sit down. I should have thrown it. He sat down. Um, you know, my head. There's 30 seconds left. I'm just trying to make a play at that point, you know. So it's, I made the wrong decision, but, you know, it is what it is. What do you say about Cronkite, 
Um, says a lot. Uh, kid works his butt off. Uh, great teammate, great player. Um, you know, extremely happy for him. Yeah, uh, you know, Duran came in and he played well for us for the, you know, the times that he was in there. He, he played really well, was explosive. Did uh, Tucker do anything defensively differently than what you saw from him? Um, not necessarily. Uh, you know, I thought I thought we had a good game plan coming in. Um, you know, we played really well in the first half and, uh, you know, the second half just mm, a lot of unfortunate things happened. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I was a cause for most of them, in my opinion. What uh, worked well in the first half? Um, you know, I, th I thought we just did well all around. Uh, O-line was getting good push. The run, uh, running backs were hitting the hole. Um, you know, for the pass plays that we did have, they were, you know, effective. So. Looking forward to Central Florida? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we got a, a big preparation week coming up uh, for this game to try to finish our season strong. Um, you know, this isn't the way we want to send our seniors out. So uh, we got to prepare and, um, you know, make the most of this next week. Did it hurt not having Mitch in the second half? Um, you know, it, it always hurts when guys are down, um, especially starters. So, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's it's tough. Um, Jacob came in and uh, he played he played well. But, um, you know, just hopefully get everyone healthy up for next week.